Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I'm out here today to do a review on this MT-125. Is that the right model that's, number? I got it right, right this time. And I'm here with my friend Scott. We've already done one video on his 352, and I was pretty impressed with that tractor, and I, now I wanted to check out the smaller one. But first I wanted to ask you, if you've got a 52 horse, you know, why did you want this little 25 horse? The 52 horse is awful heavy, uh, makes a lot of ruts in the in the yard, and I wanted something nice and light that I could work in the yard and, and not leave big ruts. And so that this is what I got. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks tiny, probably can't do anything. Oh man, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I hope that I am surprised. So we're gonna do a little bit of work with this, move some brush, and I think we're gonna use the box blade on the driveway a little bit. Then we'll give kind of our opinions on this tractor. And real quick, where did you get your tractor at? WCT Farm and Lawn, Stratford, Missouri. And they're a pretty good dealership? They're excellent, yeah. They treat me right. All right, now well, he's really gonna wanna know how good his dealership is when I break this thing and we have to take <laughs> it back. So the operator station has a comfortable layout. The joystick is right here, which normally I don't like them that are mounted up there, but this is pretty comfortable to me for you know, my size and height, that it's a good placement. Now we've got the PTO control switch here. You've got a throttle up here. Does not have auto throttle. Is this a 12 volt power? Yep, 12 volt power. 12 volt power right there. Then you've got rear, mid, mid and rear on your PTO. Because this can have a mid mount mower, but he doesn't have it. The emergency brake is pretty Intuitive when you push that down just lift up and let go of the brake pedal push the brake pedal and it turns it off It's got a good solid feel to it. There's a switch right here for cruise control, which I actually found useful lights Everything's pretty basic. One thing that's different is next to your uh, Three-point drop lever you have an actual lever for four-wheel drive in and out when most machines have that down here on a foot pedal but it engaged and disengaged easily when I took it in and out of out of gear. And then your diff lock is in the normal spot. I'm six foot and about 260. Feels comfortable. I I don't feel cramped on here. The fuel fill is in is on the fender, which I like. Anything I'm missing? Oh. It's got the the killer toolbox that most compacts have. Which I would make fun of this little plastic toolbox, except that mine didn't have a toolbox at all. So, <laughs> a little one's better than none. Couple things I immediately noticed there. First, that it, once again, that has really good clamping pressure, probably better than what I'm used to. But I can tell you, I felt really light as I lifted that up to try to disentangle it and moved. I can immediately feel how you you could flip one of these smaller tractors. Now you don't have fluid in the tires yet. No, no fluid in the tires. Yep, just just the box plate on the back for a little bit of counterweight is is all I got. So I'm in a lot of the you know John Deere forums. And a lot of people are flipping the John Deere equivalent of this. If yeah. you if you move with that up in the air, I could almost feel that side coming off the ground pretty quick. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Whereas, you know, your big one would never do that. But yeah, um, low to the ground. And mainly I stopped because I wanted to ask if you had fluid in the tires. But as far as the clamping pressure on that grapple was great and uh, was able to get a big, big load at once. Yeah, so. real big load. All right, I guess I'll finish cleaning this up. I must, hopefully I don't stop and talk after every <laughs> thing of brush. Yeah. All right, be honest. How much were you cringing as I was doing that? I, I was worried you might roll yourself over, but you're moving awful fast for my, my taste. But <laughs> if, it, if anybody's watching this and you have any thought in your mind, you might have me over for a video. If I ask if I can drive your tractor, I'm gonna drive it like I own it, which means uh, rough. And I must scratch your paint probably. But did a good job with that. Let's uh, try something else. So in terms of this driveway, it's not all rutted up or, or terrible. I think it's just got grass in it and he doesn't want to mow his driveway. Exactly. Is that about it? That's exactly it. So on this side, there's a, a ditch or a drop off and you put that there? I put that there, stop the water from running down into my driveway and then down, you know, a river right down the middle of my driveway. Yeah, that I used a, a stump bucket on that, dug, dug all that up made that uh, ditch there. It's worked great ever since I've done it. That's a pretty long ditch. And you did that with the little machine or the big one? The big one. The big one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's got a WR long stump bucket over there. Made that hole. It looks pretty uniform. It, I was surprised you did that with the stump bucket. Yeah. All right. So basically, I'm just going to stir this up, rip the grass off, and try to smooth it back out. Well, it pulled it just fine. And I was rolling material in there, 
but it wasn't really cutting that grass off. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is just angle the blade forward just a little bit, try to get to bite harder. Cause that was the first thing I thought when I got on it is it's putting more pressure on the back cutting edge than the front one. Just now to level, I think, as far as forward and back. So this is your driveway. What do you think? I think it's great. Yeah. I could have just kept making passes all night and you wouldn't see that grass anymore. But I, I, you did much better than I expected, to be honest with you. And I didn't have any trouble with it pulling. Worked just fine. And um, I actually found the cruise control to be really intuitive, which is something I wasn't planning to mess with. But the button was right there and it was very just obvious how it worked and it worked well. I had the cruise control on that whole time, even as I was making my turns, even as I was feathering this out, I just left it on a little less fatigue on your foot. Cool. So, it's you so know, it does work. You know, cruise control on a hydrostat, it's like, oh, hey, this cool new thing. And that basically just turns it into like a gear drive where it just goes the speed of your throttle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Okay. That was just what I was thinking about as I was running it. I was like, wow, it's a tractor that I don't have to push the pedal. Yep. Like all of them used to be. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so overall thoughts on the tractor. First, it's a small tractor. It's a compact. And there are companies making really big 25 horsepower tractors. So this is not the one you would compare to that. This is comparable to a Kubota BX, John Deere 1025. I think you even said it's the same engine. Yeah, same engine as the 1025. Yeah. yeah, and I liked it. It's, it seems like a nice machine to me. I couldn't find anything as I was running it. I couldn't find anything to criticize on it. What's your review as an owner? I, I love it. it it uh, definitely punches above its pay grade, you know. Uh, I'm going to put wheel spacers on it to make it a little more stable, and uh, I, I love it. <laughs> and what kind of ballpark price were we in on this? I, I paid $14.8. 14 and was that with any attachments or just the machine just the machine loader bucket yeah 14.8 i'm not an expert dialed in on all the pricing but that seems pretty competitive to me uh, it, it's real competitive yeah <laughs> but bottom line to me if i was in the market to buy a subcompact i think at that price and what i see here i'd be pretty interested in an ls oh yeah definitely yeah you, you don't have to pay that extra price for the green paint you know yeah well, I really appreciate you letting me run your machine. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.